Okay. So I'm ready to tell my story. And I have been so longing to tell this story, but I just have not gotten to it because it has just not been the right time. Today is the right time. Someone needs to hear this. Um, I'm gonna start off with my testimony real quick. So I didn't believe in anything until three years ago and my life was completely changed. Anybody who ever told me about Jesus before, I was like, no, 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 walk away. Um, my life was 100% completely changed. I can get into that another time. I just want to show you the goodness of God when you fully trust and have faith what can happen in your life. So back in June, um, it started in the beginning of May, I was going through just a lot of stomach issues, a lot of things that were happening to me, um, kind of like just a lot of pain, a lot of pain in my lower belly. I woke up in the middle of the night one night at 3 a.m. Um, crying in pain, um, and it didn't stop from there. So it was like a constant pain, would not leave me. I went to the doctors two hours before I got on a flight to urgent care, um, and they didn't know what was wrong with me. I had taken, you know, some things like to allow things to pass through. That was not what was wrong. So um, there's one doctor's appointment. I go to the doctors again. I'm having a lot of pain out in California and Las Vegas when I was traveling back in May. And um, don't know what's wrong with me. Blood test, um, a lot of different kind of exams um, on the lower stomach. Um, just a lot of poking and prodding and um, a lot of like needles and things that I don't like. Um, <laughs> so basically, uh, I went through this and I came home. I thought I was actually supposed to move to California and I didn't end up doing that. But I had met up with an old friend of mine on accident. It was a complete accident, but God had uh, planned that that night. Um, and he, this friend told me um, that I was gonna get healed <laughs> uh, that night. And I was like, no, 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 not gonna get healed. I believe in God, but I don't believe in that healing power thing. Like, sorry, like God just doesn't just like show up like that. I put God in like literally a box and that's how my friends explain it is I put God in a box. So from there on, uh, that night, these three amazing friends were like, we're going to heal you. Um, I got put on, like laid on the floor and they were just like putting their hands over me on my belly and they prayed for me. Uh, they just prayed, you know, healing in the name of Jesus. And I was laying there and I was like, I don't believe that like he's going to heal me. I don't believe that like this is going to happen. And um, boom, I was healed that night. Uh, there was a icy cold, like it was as if someone was like gently sewing the inside of my belly, like where exactly where it hurt. So then... The next day I go to my ultrasound, which was my last test. <laughs> I walk in, you know, the prognosis before from my last doctor was that I had endometriosis or a bleeding disorder. And um, sorry if that's like graphic for anybody. I'm really not like a, I have like a very sick stomach with those things. So I just had to get like real with it real quick, sorry. Um, and basically the, I walked in I'm like, I don't hurt anymore. Like, you're not, you're not going to find anything. They do the ultrasound. They can't find anything. And they're like, you were just here last week and you were in all this pain. And I was like, I know. And like yesterday I was in pain, but last night I got healed. And they're like, what are you talking about? So I told them and everyone, you know, everyone's faith was lifted that day. So since then, God has done some insane things in my life. After that, two weeks later, I was working um, at my job. I'm not going to like say specifics here. Um, but basically, I had a woman come in 
who was like had CRPS which is like a muscle dystrophy and her muscles and her bones were like mixing together on her arm and she couldn't like even move her hand like she couldn't like crunch like we can so um I was so like arguing with God and I was like no like I know you healed me but like I'm not gonna do this right now like I'm not gonna pray for her like I'm too scared like I'm not good enough like I'm not like worthy I'm not I don't have the authority and I was like no 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 like <laughs> it's just in my head and finally he was like you gotta do it I was like all right so basically I went in there and I um oh sorry went in there whatever I asked her I said, hey, ma'am, can I pray for you? Um, this is going to sound crazy. This is my story. Uh, let me pray for you. I prayed for her. I have a video of her that I can share um, if I get comments below or whatever. I don't even know where I'm going to post this, but I'm just going to post it. Um, but I can share the video. And her name was Elizabeth, and she was crying. Um, and I'm going to ask her if it's okay if I share it. But God healed her arm. God healed her arm. Um, and then, and I... That was all him. That was not me. That was me leaping out in faith because God had given me that faith and God can give everybody that faith. Um, if you ever watch Todd White, you need to go watch Todd White. If you don't know who that is, go look him up on YouTube. Stuff is not, stuff is not fake. That's for sure. So, um, after that, here's another story. Okay. This is another thing that God has done in my life. So he, I was walking downtown in Exeter, the most random thing in the world, and I just go, God, give me a name. Like, I just want to, like, go pray for someone right now. Like, I don't know, that's around in downtown area. And he gives me this name, and I was, it was like, Elise. And I was like, Elise? He was like, Elise. I was like, okay, Elise. So, Elise. This is a Friday night. I'm like, mm, no one really looks like an Elise around here. So I'm like, all right, whatever, I forget. And then I was like, I was like, maybe that wasn't even God. Maybe that was just my mind like playing with me, right? For, uh, Sunday morning, I'm at church. God, uh, the pastor calls up people who, you know, are in pain and just like going through a lot and need like restoration. 25 people come to the front. And, um, you know, we just, I like me and my group of friends, we stand up in the front um, and we're just like worshiping and like, you know, um, singing. And like my hands were like already like open like this. And then the pastor goes, if your hands are down by your side, um, you know, lift them, lift them up, lift them up, give it to God, whatever you're getting, whatever you're trying to like release, give it to God. So I look over and this lady, uh, like her hands, like she would not lift her hands and she was just sobbing. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my gosh, God. You, oh. So I walked over there and I was like, listen, like you gotta lift your hands up. Like the enemy wants you to keep it down can talk more about that later and um she picked her hands up her hands were open and um then she was just crying she was like thank you I'm like okay I walked away it's all the Lord guys it's not me that's what I'm trying to get here this is not me this is this can happen to anyone these things can happen to anyone you just have to be willing to allow God to use you so then and I know this is going to be a long video and I don't care. You don't, you can sit here and listen to it or you can't. I don't care. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you listen to this or not. Um, but this is something that I have to share um, because this is love. This is what true love really looks like. So true love is praying for one another. That is the true friend. That is a true relationship is when you pray for one another in a selfless way. Um, not for your own gain, but for theirs and for the Lord's. So another thing that happened. So what happened is today today this is what happened I had a woman come in yesterday who wanted to sign up her family of four beautiful family beautiful family beautiful woman with a beautiful heart I gave her a tour of the facility she had to leave or whatever and then she came back today not without me even knowing I sit down with her I start you know filling out all this stuff uh, for her to like sign up I'm not gonna get into details and um, I'm not gonna use her name but if you guys want proof, I can send you any proof that you need. Uh, because she did just text me and said she's never felt the way that she feels right now. She was, uh, she's a Buddhist. And basically what happened was she just told me a lot about her life. 
a lot of things. Just all of a sudden she goes, I've never told anybody but my psychiatrist and now you what the things that I just told you. And I go, that's okay. <laughs> like I was very real with her. I told her about my healing story. Um, I told her what God had done in my life and I wasn't pushing it down her throat because that's what religion does, but that's not what a relationship with God does. Um, a relationship with God, you just want to love on other people. So I tell her about my story and I just told her, I was like, listen, can I pray for you? Like, are you hurting anywhere? And she was like, yes, I am. She was like, I've had this pain down my, from my neck to my shoulder all the way down my arm uh, for five years. And I go, okay. I was like, I'm gonna walk you out to your car and I'm gonna pray in your car with you if that's okay with you. She was like, absolutely. I'm so open to it. I was like, okay. You never like, <laughs> it's crazy. I pray for her arm and her neck and just her heart and everything that she's been through that God would just lift it up. And she said that she felt light coming in from her head and just literally she was like, I literally almost said while you were praying that he is with me because I felt him. I literally felt him. He was here. And she had tingling all up and down her arm. So this is all my stories. There's so much more, but this is my, this is my main thing. If you don't believe in God, cool. I don't care. You just hear me out. Listen to these stories because no one can argue my story. These are stories that have happened, that have proof. This is the stuff that you don't see on the media because guess what? The media doesn't want you to know what true love is and what true peace is in this world. But this, this Jesus is truly peace. He's joy. And I don't care. Like I heard someone say this before. They don't care if they're wrong because this is this is the best life that you can live. If you're anxious or like you feel empty, whatever it is, it's Jesus who can fill all of that. If you've been wondering your whole life why you feel empty or why you feel the way you feel or why were you treated that way, God has all the answers for you. We all don't have perfect lives and someone else, someone else is always suffering more than we are. But let me just give this to you. Take my word. Reach out to me. Let me pray for you. Whatever it is, if you need healing, whatever it is, if you need a friend right now, I want you to reach out to me because God wants to love on you through this vessel. And a lot of people need love through your vessel. So praise God. Peace and blessings to everybody.